happy fall, y'all. I'm so excited to partner with Testers and Rust-Oleum to continue our fun of afternoon crafting. And today we are going to make a apple cider stand for my daughter, Lily. So she is all about make-believe and you know, we might not be able to get out in the street and have a cider stand, but she can definitely use this at home with our family and have her own little pretend shop. So in order to make this, we need a few things, and I promise it looks like we need a lot, but it's gonna be simple. So the featured products that we're using today are the Tester's Acrylic Paint in Ruby and Coffee and Rust-Oleum's Intense Glitter Paint, which is really fun. We're gonna use that on our crates. You're also going to need two large crates like you see here. I've got these wooden stands that are actually left over and I found them as scraps in my garage. I'm gonna use that to hold up the banner. It's not 100% necessary, but it's gonna add a cute factor. We're also going to use some cutout letters so that we can personalize the stand for Lily. We're going to be making our own apple cutout using foam board, a box cutter, our acrylic paint, and then we're gonna put everything together with an industrial hot glue gun. So you kind of see all the basic supplies we need. You guys ready to get started? Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna start with our two crates. These are large crates that you can get at the craft store. I've actually had these from other projects. They were already painted white, um, and I like the rustic look of them. So they're a little bit beat up, but that's gonna make our apple cider stand kind of look a little vintage. So what we're going to be using is the Rust-Oleum Intense Glitter Paint. So I've already got it open. Um, you wanna pry off the top for it and then make sure that you mix it really well. And also just make sure that you read all the safety instructions on it as well. Once it's mixed up, we're gonna use a high quality synthetic brush and I'm gonna paint this all across the front of my crates because these crates are gonna stand up and be glued together so we just need it on the front. While our crates are drying, we're gonna paint our support beams. So these are really just pieces of wood. I found them as scraps in my garage and I'm gonna paint and add some of the intense glitter to them so that they match the crates and we'll eventually attach them to the crates so that they can hold up the banner. All right, so for our next step, while our crates and our other pieces are drying, we are gonna make an apple sign for the front of the stand. I'm using a piece of foam board, and I've got a box cutter. You wanna make sure you have a good sharp box cutter and a pencil. So ready for the magic to happen? I'm gonna draw and cut out an apple just like that. Magic, <laughs> we've got an apple cut out. Now it's time to paint it with our tester's acrylic paint. Now that my acrylic paint on my apple sign is dry, I thought, why not add a little sparkle? So we're gonna paint our Rust-Oleum Intense Glitter on top of the red part of our apple. So I'm just gonna brush a coat on really quick. All right, so for our next step, I've got some cutout letters that I cut on my cutting machine, but you can also use sticker letters as well. And it says, Lily's Apple Cider, $1. I let her choose the price. She's going high priced. I like the way she's thinking, a young entrepreneur. So I'm gonna use my glue stick and I am going to add my letters to my apple sign. All right, our apple sign is dry. We'll get back to that in just a minute, but now it's time to start to build and assemble our cider stand. So what I'm gonna be using is my industrial hot glue. Um, you can also use a nail gun if you want, but this was something I thought that was easy that almost everyone can do. Okay, so now I'm pressing these two guys together and we're gonna let the glue set before I stand it up. All right, do you start to see it? It's starting to come together. So we stood our crates up and that glue dried super quick and trust me, it's like cement, it's gonna work perfectly. Now, we're gonna take what is gonna help prop up our banner and we're gonna place some hot glue on the bottom here. And this is our industrial hot glue. And then we're also gonna glue it to the back of our stand. 
It's starting to come together. Doesn't it actually look like a cider stand? And P.S. You could transform this into a lemonade stand when it's summertime. But now is the fun part. We're gonna add the apple sign to the front. We're gonna hang a banner on the top support, and then I'm gonna decorate it, add some apples, and get all the fun stuff that Lily needs to sell cider to our family and friends. You gonna put a straw in it? Yeah. There you go. All right, how cute did our apple cider stand turn out? Lily, what do you think? Yeah? Are you gonna drink all the cider? <laughs> all right, so for more easy ideas, make sure that you follow Testers and rust -Oleum. They've got great projects, not only for the fall, but the holidays as well. And make sure you follow me at Craft Box Girls, because we've got tons of more ideas to keep you and your family busy. Happy fall!